what program to use the cusp? And initially it was a medical school uh, test used for medical school entries, but now it's used for all other programs that basically the student doctor network helps you with. So dentistry, veterinary schools, physician assistant program, nursing schools, optometries, and many, many, many other programs are using CASPER. Even a lot of non-medical uh, or non kind of like traditional um, professional school programs are using it. Like nursing is now using, um, uh, sorry, not nursing, teaching, teachers colleges and teaching programs are now using the CASPER. Uh, so it's becoming widespread. It's not only used in North America, it's also used in the UK, New Zealand, Australia, and even Qatar uh, has adopted the, uh, the CASPER. So, how do you know if your program uses the CASPER? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna walk you through how to find out if your program uses the CASPER. So what we're gonna do is we go to this website, which is takealtis.com. Used to be called Take CASPER, uh, but now Altis is going to include some other assessments beyond the CASPER. And so in order to find out your um, the this and when different programs require the CASPER, you have to go to takealtis.com. And so you go to dates and fees, and then you select your da, 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 browse dates and times. And then let's say we're looking for the United States of America and we are applying to the allopathic and the osteopathic medicine schools. And you'll see the specific name Casper type. Uh, when you take the Casper will be used for registration. And you see all the different schools that use the Casper. So you can see there's about, there's over 60 schools here that actually use the Casper for their assessment. It's a lot of schools. And now let's say you are interested in the dates. So let's say I'm applying to the Boston University School of Medicine. I'm applying to Howard University School of Medicine and Michigan State University. Um, and so what we can do here is we're going to look at all the different dates that are used that the schools accept the dates for. Now, as you probably, many of you know who are applying to medical school, it's a rolling admission for many schools. So typically people write it in the earlier dates. So I know that June and July are the most common dates when people write the CASPER, uh, just because I know that schools need two to three weeks to re um, it takes two to three weeks to get your CASPER reviewed, and then they also need to send it to the schools. But from uh, from what I understand about the U.S. applications, most people write it in June, July. Every again, every school is different. Like for the Canadian applications, most people write it in October. So make sure that you you specifically know which schools and which programs um, kind of require. And usually, they also provide the information on their own website and kind of give you recommended dates. But this is like the um, the best website to find all the available dates for them. And once again, this is not only for medicine. As you can see, this is for also dentistry, physical therapy, pharmacy, anesthesiology assistance, veterinary medicine. So a lot of programs are using this. So for example, lots of dental schools are now using it. Some veterinary schools in the United States are also using it. So it's becoming quite, quite popular. And let's go back to the presentation. If you enjoyed this, click the thumbnail to watch the full video or visit Student Doctor Network to see the free resources we have available to help you become a doctor.